exactly right. But Congressman, your dedication to this issue is greatly appreciated. Thanks for bringing us into this. Thank you. Appreciate it, Ken. Well, I think the, what's become clear is that uh, there's some innovative ways to hit our renewable energy goals. And there is a lot of debate about uh, renewable uh, energy standards in America. Uh, for myself, I think having a goal for renew renewable energy for the country is essential. Uh, I think having a rigid insistence that it come from food sources like, co uh, like corn doesn't make sense. I think a country that ultimately relies upon food for its fuel but at some point won't be able to afford either of them. We need to be making greater investments in innovative approaches from non-food sources, whether it's lowering our electricity bills at home through solar, or whether it's creating new uh, sources to uh, power our homes that is clean energy, whether it's finding non-food sources to do biodiesel to, to fuel our trucks and cars, that, uh, all of those I think are essential. Uh, Republicans in Congress have introduced the American Energy Act. It takes the approach that we need to conserve more and it creates incentives for energy efficiency. Uh, it uh, says we need to find new sources. So it makes permanent tax credit that accelerates solar, wind, biofuels, biomass, other sources of alternative. And finally, it also says we need to, to uh, explore more uh, in, our, in our deep sea areas, in our U.S. Arctic reserves, that we need to uh, remove the ban against oil shale uh, use here in America. Uh, it starts the, the new technology to convert coal into super clean liquid fuels, which can help uh, power our cars and our, um, uh, and our trucks. And uh, we as well want uh, to rebuild infrastructure to bring uh, uh, a new generation of nuclear power into the United States, which, as you know, is zero emissions, great for greenhouse gases, we think can be a stable part of America's future. And if you couple that with all of us driving less, consuming less, and bringing these new renewables online, there, there you've got a winning combination for the country. So with that, uh, I'd ask if there's any questions for, uh, for the gang today. Sir. Carson, I have a question, uh, and I'm with CNN 650. Uh -huh. I was curious to find out, uh, it seems to me that Republicans have been looking for an up and down, you know, up or down vote yeah. on the issue of energy. In a way, you have that with the adjournment vote last week. Are you able to translate that where, uh, you know, constituencies around the country see that you really have that up yeah. and down vote, in yeah. my opinion? The answer is no. We've not been able to translate that because it's seen as just an adjournment vote, not a, not walking away from and leaving on a five-week vacation without a vote on exploring more. That's why Republicans are on the House floor all this week. Uh, I'll be leading a group of lawmakers on Monday back in the Capitol in a darkened chamber without microphones or TV cameras, but just the public, again, to insist that uh, uh, Speaker Pelosi respectfully insists she come back in the vacation, call us back in the session, and give us that vote. Now, if we can't win that vote, that's democracy. But the truth is, American public does support the balanced approach. We have the votes on the House floor for it. We just want to even have a chance to vote. So we just believe this is, this is America and the democracy and not a dictatorship. Let's get that vote. And while we're at it, let's finish uh, the renewable uh, uh, incentives that need to be extended for next year as well.